So Morton Bay already through to Sunday night's grand final. Who will join them? Lions or It's Witch Knights? It's Witch Knights. They may be the visitors here this evening, but plenty of their flock are familiar with the surrounds of Lions Stadium, including, of course, incoming coach Graham Ross, who brought premiership success to the club. Twitch Knights with first possession in this all flight centre Premier League matchup. Cut out there by Cosgrove. Young. Was he brought down? Good tackle it was. And long range shot. Falls wide. Jamonde. Back there for Butters. Who tries to drive one in. Here's Gaffney. Jamonde there. Able to take it with the right foot. Trying to negotiate his way around. Murphy denies him though. Oh, Cumaneo. Poor clearance straight to Peter Drager. And Lyons desperately defend away. Davis, corner of the box. And Lyons will clear away from their defence. Here's Jamonde. Almost found a half chance inside the box. Shepard. Gets round Ishikura and then loses out at the end of the day. It's which Knights, Drager, trying to find himself an opportunity here. Was he pushed over there by Tommy Jarrett? Yes, he was, in the opinion of Marty Krennis. So free kick here to the Knights. Drifted over the wall and Cubaneo punches over the bar. So the resulting corner, and again, it's which Knights with another chance on goal. As we see the two coaches, both looking relatively relaxed at this time. Here's Young for Butters. Butters, saved by Murphy at his feet. So no goals as we head into second half action. Shepard back there for Jamonde. Shepard continues on his run. He can be dangerous, Nathan Shepard. Now he plays in Michael Butters. And again, Declan Murphy on hand in the Itswish Knights goal. Here's Jamonde as the rain starts to fall. Jamonde has broken the deadlock. Secu Jamonde puts the home side ahead here 1-0. Take a look at that on the replay. Despite the best efforts of Jason Pillay into the defence of Ipswich Knights, Jamonde scores the goal. As the Knights look to try and conjure up an equaliser here. Butler, another former Lions player. Was there handball? Indeed there was. So we Butler with this free kick, trying to put it in towards the back stick. And Peter can't control his effort. And over an hour played now. Lions have the 1-0 lead. Here's Young. Butters. But Murphy makes himself big and Knights. Goal line clearance. Jamonde once more. Butters, that combination certainly turned up tonight. Butters looks a little bit frustrated. As that effort skimmed across the face of goal. Here's Rate and a one handed save from Murphy. That was the understudy for Phil Zabax here at Lions in seasons past. Five to play. Will we see extra time again in this match? Well, it's likely now because Tariq Hamad 
makes it one all. An uncharacteristic mistake in the defence for Lions. And that's given Ipswich Knights the chance to equal the ledger. Tense moments now as it starts to tick towards 90 minutes. Long range effort into the top left corner. And Ipswich Knights would have been the underdogs coming into this semi-final. And it looks like they might be going through to the big dance on Sunday evening. Kimoneo, powerless to act against that. Here's race. Lions are now desperate. Will it be extra time again in this semi-final? Three and a half minutes into stoppage time. All hands on deck. Kimoneo is there as well. But Marty Krennis blows the full-time whistle. And it's which Knights have defeated Lions by two goals to one.